that God has availed to us. And we want to magnify the Lord and lift up Jesus. And uh, I just believe that He has made the day, and this is the day that is made. We can rejoice and we can be glad in it. Amen. Amen. We're just glad. We're just glad you made it this morning. And uh, thank the Lord you survived all the uh, the flooding and and all the rain. Amen. So uh, God bless you this morning. That. Uh, that but I, you know, I was Wednesday night. Whenever I was uh, going home, when I was going home, I noticed there it was different locations. I saw that there were there were some dogs and cats and cows and different animals. They were lining up two by twos. I, I, <laughs> uh, they were probably beginning to wonder, to say the least. Amen. Uh, God bless you. Praise the Lord. We're glad you're here again. The Lord bless you. We're going to be going to the Lord in prayer in just a little bit. Asking God is going to touch you to minister and to needs. And we'll update you on one or two and add one or two. So uh, thank the Lord for the opportunity to avail us that we can... Uh, we can be here this morning. Let me make a uh, let me make a brief announcement to you this morning. We've been talking to you about opening up our Wednesday evening ministries. Uh, besides the youth, the youth do have their ministries over on Wednesday evening. And uh, but what we're going to do is starting this coming Wednesday evening, we are going to open it up to our missionettes and Royal Rangers. Now understand, we're going to have to have our uh, our teachers. Now, I understand, I know that Brother Benny is our Royal Rangers uh, our teacher, and uh, he's, he's going to be there. And I know that Sister Lori is a missionette's teacher. So we do have a couple of teachers are going to be there. I understand it's been almost a year and a half, and uh, that there's not been any, any ministry over there. But uh, we're just going to have to give it a little bit of time. Don't be too impatient. To, and uh, I think that it's where that we can open it up somewhat. The biggest issues that we're having with this, uh, with this coronavirus and with the COVID thing, it was not as much in young people as it was in the older people anyway. So we want to open that up. And uh, we need to be a ministry to those that are uh, on outside. It may take a little bit to get them back in, get back into focus where it needs to be. But I think we're the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we are the witness of the ministry that is here in Mulberry and also the surrounding areas. We want to uphold and maintain that ministry. So we're going to open that up. See how God directs, how God leads. We can't do it. We don't have folks going to be teaching though, okay? But uh, I think we've got some people that are interested in doing that. So we're going to open that up starting this coming Wednesday night to, to let you be aware of that and to know that, that we're going to start. Okay? So, amen. Just wanted to make that announcement to you this, uh, this morning as well. So uh, let's be in prayer. Be believing the Lord. He's going to touch you to minister. And uh, I believe God's going to bless. I believe we're going to see the church begin to minister and expand its borders uh, beyond now and begin to move forward as I believe that it will as we join hearts and we join our faiths together and I know God's going to honor through the power of his love and his blood. Amen. Are you ready? Amen. I know you said preacher you've talked enough. I know it. Let's stand. Amen. God bless you. Let's stand. Let's lift our hearts.